What's happening, man? Weird day. Very weird day. I went out for a little while and I came back home. I felt the energy and was like, I'm not supposed to be out here in these streets. And lo and behold, it was a weird day. Speak to Texas. That's your stomping ground. All right. So first and foremost, condolences to the victims, condolences to the families. An entire community is suffering. I'm not familiar with Uvalde, uh, where this occurred, uh, but uh, a 18-year-old student, uh, someone who just recently turned 18, bought two, uh, what it sounds like is assault rifles, but let's just say firearms for now, bought, purchased two firearms on their 18th birthday, which you can totally do in Texas. Uh, And I don't know how long ago that was, but they use those firearms today, uh, the 24th, to kill what it sounds like 18 uh, people, 14, so far. at least 14 of whom were children. Yeah, at, uh, elementary school, 18 students and two teachers so far. 18 students and two teachers at Robb Elementary School, also in Uvalde, Texas. Now, Uvalde, Texas, it sounds like is a suburb of San Antonio. Uh, so this is, and what I've heard, I'm not just speculating because it's San Antonio, but what I've read on Twitter is that this is a community that is largely Latino. It's sad. It's fucked up. I'm tired. The governor of Texas has already uh, issued a statement wherein he has called for giving teachers loans because, of course, Greg Abbott cannot think of anything you know better to do. That is the worst idea ever. I mean, as someone who's been in classrooms, do you think more bullets flying around in a in a mass shooting, in a school shooting, a combat scenario? Do you think that's actually going to help more guns and more bullets? In close quarters like that? Has it helped this country so far? I mean, we're the only country in the world that has this problem. It's an epidemic, period. And I don't understand why teachers can't just be left alone to teach. If they want people with guns in the classroom, hire retired military, hire retired police officers who are have left the force but are too young to just stay home or golf. Uh, let's bring in more mental health experts. Let's bring in child psychologists. Let's bring in more meditative practices. Why is it that the lands of the Christians, the first thing they think to do is to kill more. And yet the very first commandment of Christianity is thou shalt not kill. You can't make this up. Why do we want teachers to take on another job duty? Yeah. Another responsibility outside of teaching. uh, just simply teaching. Yeah. It's it's a, why Why is that even? Who was the first person to suggest that? And who was the second to person to go, great idea? Because I'd really like to talk to the two of them. Also, if teachers wanted to be in combat scenarios, they would have signed up for the fucking military. They would have signed up to join Thank the you. fucking police force. They did not sign up. They did not go to school to do this. And it doesn't matter how much, how many you know, sessions of firearm training, how much firearms training you require teachers to have now, nothing is going to be able to prepare them for a combat scenario where a teacher has to go get a gun and stop a mass shooting that has already started. That is, you, you, you want teachers to win a shootout against a mass shooter, a school shooter, who's probably more heavily armed than the teacher you're probably going to give the teacher a handgun. The, the mass shooter is going to have way more than one handgun. You're probably going to give the teacher one clip of ammunition. The mass shooter is going to have more. The teacher doesn't have body armor. armor. We saw the mass shooter in Buffalo had body armor. You want teachers to be able to win a shootout with a mass shooter who has already started shooting. That's your solution. Give yourself a fucking raise. <laughs>